into your driveway, it's a Saturday night. You look like a million bucks. Good morning, good morning, guys. This is day number two in uh, Maraca. And it's about 10 a.m. now? Yeah, about yeah. 10 a.m. Almost. And it's time for breakfast. We love this place for the for the croissant. They have really good croissant. And as a Frenchman, I love it. Like there's no tomorrow. Let's have a drink. Just with so when we checked on Google, they said that they open at 9. It's 10 a.m. and they still close. No good. No good. Oh, they close on Wednesday. Here, oh, Richard. Damn. So now, he's just going to looking for another place to stay for breakfast, and then we're gonna try to to see what we can do in Malacca today. What are you gonna get? You. <laughs> You're hungry, yeah? Yeah, very hungry. Who's on? Want to put a croissant? Mm. And this one? Put almond. What is it called? Put almond. I don't Quit. know what that, but so good. Bye. Mm. Bye. Bye. For me, I order the French croissant. This is actually the, the same owner of the, the stolen cup, the one that we wanted to go this morning that, that was closed. Same owner. <laughs> Chinese New Year starts in about a month and they already start putting decoration everywhere. Gula Malacca is a good quality one. Buy it. How much is it? I don't know. I didn't see the price. So maybe oh, 3 ringgit 90. How much? 390. Buy one. Later, later. Oh, this is the woman's favorite. Yeah, no, we do not buy in this. You know how much? Oh my god, it's expensive. 20 ringgit 90 cents. How much? 29 ringgit. So sweet. That's good. Too expensive. We can't oh, buy because it. why? Durian no sun king. Oh my god. I won't wear something like this tomorrow. Look, I mean, sometimes fashion can be very disaster. There is a famous attraction in, uh, in Malacca and we actually never been to it and it's called A Mamusa. And the Dutch Red Square was built in 1650, so 370 years ago. And it was actually a, a church at, a, at the beginning and later on it became a museum. Museum about the Malay history, the Portuguese history, Netherlands and uh, United Kingdom history. So they have different prices for locals and, uh, and foreigners. So 10 ringgit for eight for Malaysian, 20 for foreigners. But I'm half Malaysian. <laughs> I'm married to Malaysian. Uh, sorry? Why? I'm Malay. So they want to charge me 40. They were thought I'm not local. <laughs> so... Come on, Malayula. This is how the Sultan Palace uh, looked like. Yeah, in Malacca, looked like in 1456. If I wanted to read everything that is on the wall, I'm probably gonna have to spend the whole day over here. Yeah, There's correct. so much information. This is what, Portuguese? Yeah. yeah. Portuguese, Italian. Must be so hot in this. There's so much to read that we are very unfamiliar with the history. With the history, and I think the best will be to have a guide over here, so someone who can spend who time, who loves to talk, and can spend time to explain to you everything. So it's about 2 uh, p.m. and we now stop for um, for lunch. So we are just by the river in this cafe called the, the Nebula. We wanted to go to another one called uh, the Daily Fix. But they charge 10% service charge, 6% GST. 
and they don't even take your order. They ask you to go to the counter to take your order. So I think that it's not right. You know, when you spend a bit of money and uh, you pay service charge, you should take your, your order on the table. Yeah. So we ordered um, two ice lemon tea, one mushroom soup, and, and fries. And fries. Fresh. Is it fresh, yeah? I can see. We have a taste of it as well. Hello. How much was it? 15 or 16? 15 or 16. Yeah. Is that right? That's all right. Baguette with butter. No garlic, okay? Normally garlic, right? <laughs> really good. We always come to this place to buy soap. We love the soap that they have over here. Yeah, we love it. It's like a lemongrass soap, is it? It's an Ayurvedic. Ayurvedic soap. Stirring it for the soap. Take one of each, lad, so we can try different soaps. No? Okay, we take this, this, we take this. This much. All right. Which one that you like? Because they have a uh, jasmine americano, so different than what you normally order. So which one that you like? Jasmine americano, rosy americano. I don't know the difference. Just passed by this um, this cafe. It's called uh, the butter pastry and flour tea. So we were on our way for ten dollars. It's yeah, it smells so good. Unfortunately, they don't have any more pastry left. Yeah, but so I'm allowed to have one more coffee for today, so just yeah, order yeah. one more coffee. You're done. After I'm done. And uh, the coffee is um, a little bit different, this one. So they, they use the, the, the water from the tea and they, they mix it with uh, the coffee. So it's called a rosy Americano. So I never had a tea mixed with coffee. So I'm gonna have a try. Something very different. Yeah, it smells. It's coffee, but it smells like tea. I think they put jasmine or rose for you. It's rose, it's rose. Huh? Hey, it's good. a new um, uh, museum, it's called uh, the Ghost Museum. Hello. Hello. So we already been to the one in, uh, Penang. in Penang and then uh, there is the, the Magic World and the Ice Cafe. Correct. And now we're going to visit this one. We didn't know about it in Malacca, we just passed by. So we've seen our I friend. Invite I invite uh, him. <laughs> they invited us to, to visit it. So let's have a look guys. Wait for me. 
Oke, okay, ale ibu. Alright guys, so this was our little video in Malacca. We hope that you have enjoyed this little video with us. And if you have not followed us yet, do not forget to hit that button. See you on the next video guys. Bye bye.